Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to use the sample table in the template to customize your own tables in your manuscript. First of all, I'd like to get rid of these instructional comments. Simply right click and delete these comments before you begin copying the sample table into your template. Okay. I'm going to copy everything including the note. Control C to copy and then I will paste into the results section of my manuscript. Let's say I want three tables. I'm going to take I'm going to copy three tables into the manuscript. Now let's say in this first table you want only three columns. You can remove columns by highlighting, right-clicking, and deleting columns. And then you can adjust the margins by hovering until you see that double arrow and then you can drag and adjust accordingly. You can also adjust the column widths for internal columns. If you want to add some rows, place the cursor in the middle of the table, right click and insert rows above or below depending on what you want. Let's say I want six rows in this table. And then you can customize the other tables as you want. You can add columns and rows or delete them as you need to. Now to adjust the title, simply highlight and change the title and then we will change the second table title accordingly. Now instead of changing this table number manually, notice that that's an activation field. So place the cursor on it until it becomes activated and then right click and update the field. Notice that the number changes automatically based on the number of tables that were already in the template. You can do the same thing for the third table. Let's update that and then we will update this. Again, highlight, right click, update field. Notice that that number automatically changes. Now you're ready to go up to the list of tables in the front matter and update that field. You'll find the list of tables immediately after the table of contents. Now because you've used the sample table from the template to format your own tables, you can rely on the formatting being accurate. So again, click in this field until it's activated and then right click and update the field. Notice that each table is populated. What you'll need to do is get rid of that extra space and then you'll also need to remove the italics for each of the tables. And then remove the bolding as well for each of the table numbers. Finally, make sure to add a period at the end of each table number and you're ready to go. Notice that the page numbers have populated. Uh, if the title, title is longer than one line, you'll have an automatic 0.33 inch hanging indent. All of that will be applied because the formatting is correct.